I don't think that most Americans have any idea of what those brave Americans of that founding time went through. And when Abigail said, posterity who will reap the blessings will scarcely be able to conceive of the hardships and sufferings of their ancestors, she was, alas, right. Too many people, if they think about it at all, think of it as a kind of costume pageant. And they think of the founders as elderly uh, men and women with white powdered hair done up in satin clothes that seem quite silly. And what they've failed to understand is that almost all those people that we honor, Washington, Jefferson, Adams, Abigail Adams, were young in 1776, young during the Revolution. Uh, Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence when he was 33 years old. John Adams was 40 when he went to uh, serve in the Continental Congress. George Washington was 43 when he took command of the Continental Army. They were young and they were learning as they went along. None of them had ever fomented a revolution before. Uh, Washington never commanded an army in the field before in his life when he was given command of the Continental Army. And they did not know how it was going to turn out. And in fact, all the signs were, the odds were, that they would not succeed, could not succeed. And the Revolutionary War was the longest war in our history, except for Vietnam. It lasted nearly eight and a half years. It was the bloodiest war in our history on a per capita basis. Uh, only the Civil War uh, took a heavier toll. And it was the war that gave birth to our country and to what we have, the blessings we enjoy. And of course, it isn't just the people who get killed in a war, it's those people who cared for the people who were lost in the war, the mothers, fathers, wives, brothers and sisters, the, and the suffering of those who maybe didn't get killed but who were badly wounded or who lost limbs. Uh, one of the things that happens in the in the John Adams series is that we see, as we've not before, what uh, hardship meant, what suffering meant when there were no anesthetics, for example. When children were inoculated for smallpox, uh, it was a gruesome, uh, very unpleasant experience and one from which a child could die. We see that being tarred and feathered in the old way uh, wasn't a high school prank. It wasn't a joke. It was, um, it was torture, and people could die from it. We see people with, um, we see people with uh, bad teeth and dirt under their fingernails and dirty hair, and we're reminded that uh, they were human beings. The Declaration of Independence begins with a line when in the course of human events, and that's what we're seeing in the film, human events. They weren't marble icons. They weren't demigods. They were people, and they had failings. They made mistakes. Some of them didn't like each other, all of that. And I think in the role of Abigail, and particularly as portrayed by Laura Linney, uh, we see and we feel the extent to which women were part of the of the struggle and and who played an important part in the role. Uh, John Adams cannot be understood without understanding the part in his life that Abigail played, and she she was, as he said, his his ballast. He helped keep him on course. Level keel.